Hi, I'm out here at the boardwalk at Arcadia Mill again, and I know everyone's still practicing social distancing, so we wanted to give you a fresh perspective of how people would have survived off the land here in Florida back before pharmacies and grocery stores were around. We're highlighting another plant today called the Yopon Holly. It is a cousin to the American Holly plant. It grows bright red berries just like what you would see on the on the American holly trees, but these plants have a special leaf. The leaves are much smaller than American holly, and they have a special property. They contain the only naturally occurring source of caffeine in North America, and these leaves could be roasted and brewed into a tea-like drink. And in fact, when the first Europeans arrived here in Northwest Florida, they witnessed Native Americans doing this very thing. They witnessed them brewing large pots of black drink, which they would then drink in excess, a lot of it, because it would cause them to vomit, as you see this one doing right here. And this vomiting process was believed to purify one's body and system. And by doing so, they believed that they could get all of the bad things out of it. But the Europeans for a long time had this idea that black drink wasn't a good thing, that you didn't want to make this, it would make you vomit. In fact, it still has a Latin name, Ilex Vomitoria, because of that tradition. But these days, people have started to recognize that it's actually pretty useful. And during times of shortage and crisis, like during the American Civil War, they would create uh, teas from this to supplement their lack of coffee and imported products like coffee and tea. So it's a great substitute when you need that, that dose of caffeine. Um, and it's got really high quantities of caffeine in the black drink as well. You can find people today selling Yopon tea leaves online um, and still using it today. And if you're interested, you can still try it out. Um, and this tradition still lasts. And You'll probably find this in your backyard. It's quite a tricky plant to get rid of. So just keep in mind though that these traditional plants were prepared in a very careful way in a very careful environment. Be careful before you go and try it yourself. Maybe do your research, okay? So thank you all for joining.